What's up, Destination Church? Pastor Curtis here. And uh, you know this, that for the whole month of November, we're doing a series called At The Movies. Now I'm here in our lobby, it's decked out. Yesterday was amazing. We had people all across the, the lobby just uh, having a blast with popcorn and soda. We've got different movie scenes set up here. And uh, for the series, we're looking at Hollywood's uh, films, some of the biggest films and funnest movies that we know of. And then we're taking the truth of God's word and we're seeing how they can be relevant with one another. And yesterday, Pastor Brian brought a powerful message and used the movie American Underdog to kind of get this point across that when we put our priorities in the right order, uh, God does amazing things in our life. Now the movie American Underdog is about Kurt Warner. It's a true story of how this quarterback that wanted to make it to the NFL, he was willing to do anything to get there, realized that once he made it there, if his priorities weren't in order, the fulfillment didn't come. And I can personally share that some of my story is the same way. You know, I, I wanted to be a famous musician. And so after college, I actually went on American Idol and, and I was chasing my dreams of being a famous musician and, and our band, we moved to Nashville, Tennessee. And I started to put music above everything else. And I quickly realized that it didn't matter how many big shows we played, how many songs that we would get on the radio, there was never any fulfillment behind that. And Kurt, not Kurt Parks, but Kurt Warner, uh, he found that the same thing was exactly true in his story, that if he didn't have anybody to share the dream and success with, then it was all futile attempts at trying to be fulfilled in his life. And Pastor Brian brought this amazing word that was basically telling us that, look, when we don't put God first, nothing else really matters. And here's the one thing uh, to know from the message, that when you get your priorities right, your life will be right. But when your priorities are wrong, your life is just gonna feel wrong. You know, there's one of my favorite verses in Matthew, it's Matthew chapter six, verse 33. This is where Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. I think sometimes we seek all these things and we forget to seek first the kingdom. And then when we achieve all these things, just doesn't matter or mean that much because God isn't first in our life. You know, Pastor Brian wore this hoodie. It said, faith, family, football. Now you might not play football. You might not play music like I did, uh, but whatever your calling is, you can substitute that for football. And we've got to make sure that we put first our faith. We've got to put God first and then our family, because that's our first ministry, isn't it? And then our calling. And for Kurt Warner, that was football. And once he realized that it wasn't football first and everything else, second or last, if you will, he realized that life started to make sense. And at the end of the movie is this incredible scene where he's proposing to his girlfriend and he's just realizing that, look, everything doesn't matter if I don't have you to share this with. And he began to put God first in his life. And we know the story, right? The Rams win the Super Bowl. They beat my Tennessee Titans. That's one of the teams that I root for, but it's all good. Uh, it was an amazing story. It was an underdog story. And Pastor Brian uh, highlighted a couple other underdog stories in the scripture for us, didn't he? One of the famous ones that's actually used in a lot of sports analogies is David and Goliath. And it was actually David who wrote one of the highlight verses from yesterday, Psalm 23, uh, verses one and six. Here's what they say. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. When Pastor Brian shared this verse, he was basically saying like, look, when we put God first, when we realize that he's our shepherd, we got all, that we could ever need because every need is supplied by God. And then verse six, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. One thing to do, put God first and you'll never be last. Seek first his kingdom and all these things will be added to you. When you have God as your top priority, everything else starts to make sense. And I promise you this, that God will never fail you. And when you realize that he's your shepherd, as it says in Psalm 23, we lack nothing. So that was one of the big underdog stories from scripture that we took is David and, and Goliath, but also the greatest underdog story of all time was when Jesus was up on that cross. It looked like the enemy had the last laugh, but we know that three days later, Jesus rose out of that grave and we have the greatest story of all, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the moment where our entire faith hinges on. So I wanna encourage you today, get your priorities right. Uh, what is it in your life that you know, maybe my priorities are a little out of whack. 
You know, as I look back at my story, uh, when I was pursuing music above everything else, I just realized that, man, looking back, that's a sad moment in my life because my priorities were so out of whack. And the moment that God began to get a hold of my life, uh, he brought a small group leader at our church into my life. His name is Chad Usherwood. And he asked me a question that just changed everything for me. Uh, we had just been offered a TV contract with NBC. Our band was gonna go on this huge reality show. It looked like all of my dreams were coming true, but my spirit was grieved. I just knew that this wasn't the path that God had for me. So I met with my small group leader, Chad, and he said, Curtis, the Holy Spirit's trying to even things out in your life. He's trying to help you realize what's important and what's not. And you've gotta realize, are you here to make your name famous or God's name famous? That question changed everything for me. I laid down the band. I laid down my dreams of trying to become a famous musician. I started leading worship again at our church in Nashville. And things began to make sense in my life because I got my priorities right. What's the priority that's out of whack in your life? And what do you need to submit to the Lord today? Because I promise you, when you put Him first, everything else makes sense. So highlight Psalm verse, uh, chapter 23, verse one and six, and then go read uh, Matthew chapter six, the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew 6, 33 is that highlight verse. Seek first his kingdom and all these things will be added to you. I hope you'll join us next Sunday as we continue the At The Movies series. And uh, God bless you guys. We're praying for you today.